The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. You tried to inspire young leaders by saying governments need to be held accountable and be responsive to the people. I wonder how you square that with your former advisor, uh, Jonathan Gruber, claiming you were not transparent about the health law because, in his words, the American people, the voters, are stupid. Did you mislead Americans about the taxes, about keeping your plan, in order to get the bill passed? No, I, I did not. Uh, I, I just heard about this. You know, I, I get well briefed uh, before I come out here. Uh, th the fact that some advisor who never worked on our staff uh, expressed an opinion that uh, I completely disagree with uh, in terms of the voters is no reflection on the actual process that was run. We had a year-long debate, Ed. I mean, go back and look at your stories. <laughs> the one thing we can't say is that we did not have a lengthy debate about health care in the United States of America or that it was not adequately covered. I mean, I would just advise all of every press outlet here, go back and pull up every clip, every story, and I think it'll, it's fair to say that there was not a, a provision in the health care law that was not extensively debated uh, and was fully transparent. The thing that's real cost control that we know it'll work, go after this. Now the problem is it's a political nightmare and people say, no, you can't tax my benefits. It feels like, so what we did a lot in that room was think about, well, how could, talk about, well, how could we make this work? And Obama was like, well, you know, I mean, he's really a realistic guy. He's like, look, I can't just do this. He said, it's just not gonna happen politically. The bill will not pass. How do we manage to get there through phase-ins and other things? And we talked about it. Um, and he was just very interested in that topic. And once again, that ultimately became the genesis of what's called the Cadillac tax. Hey, powerful Republicans in Congress say momentum is building for new hearings on whether the White House intentionally misled Americans to pass Obamacare. The scandal erupting again after video surfaced of a top Obamacare architect and White House advisor saying Americans are too stupid to know what's good for them, so they had to be tricked into accepting Obamacare. Now, for at least the third time in as many days, new video of Obamacare advisor Jonathan Gruber surfaced with Professor Gruber explaining why you're all so stupid. It's a very clever, you know, basic exploitation of the, of, the, of the lack of economic understanding of the American voter. You just don't understand. But thank God we have Professor Gruber to explain it to us. Trace Gallagher walks us through it. Trace? Megan, Jonathan Gruber is called one of the central architects of Obamacare, but from our research, that might be a huge understatement. Turns out Gruber didn't just help craft the Affordable Care Act. He was instrumental in the campaign to sell it. For example, WhiteHouse.gov dedicated an entire page for his, quote, objective analysis. The White House used his numbers to convince skeptical governors that Obamacare would be good for their states. And everyone from the Congressional Budget Office to the Senate Finance Committee to Health and Human Services relied on Jonathan Gruber's opinion. Then Senator John Kerry credited Gruber with, quote, walking everyone through the benefits of the Affordable Care Act reforms so consumers are armed with accessible information. Well, now we know the information was not only inaccessible, it was downright deceptive. Last year at the University of Pennsylvania, Gruber acknowledged that if you made it clear that healthy people pay in and sick people get money, Obamacare would not have passed. Listen and basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to get anything to pass. So instead of transparency, you get wool over the eyes. Gruber now calls his statements speakos, you know, like typos, except he speakoed again and again. Last year at Washington University in St. Louis, he was bragging about the bait and switch, where instead of taxing policyholders, you tax insurance companies, knowing full well that insurance companies would pass along the cost to, yes, the policyholders. Listen. We said, well, that's pretty much the same thing. But why does it matter? Said, You'll see. And they were both in that pass. The American voters too stupid to understand the difference. And all those who once sang his praises apparently now have a, a bit of laryngitis. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.